Hey everybody, Siki here again. I'm totally gonna start calling these videos my BTW FYI videos, okay? I, I don't, don't ask me what I just did with the hands. But the reason I'm gonna do that is because these are videos that I'm not really doing like a first impression on them so much. I'm not really doing like a demo and review. It's more like a, hey y'all, hey fam, I wanna let you know what's out there, okay? By the way, this is at the store. Like for your information, this is out there. What y'all think about that? I don't know. I think that may be kind of cute. So this video is all about the Black Radiance Contour Palettes. Now they have two of them. One is medium to dark and one is light to medium. And I literally, before I go there y'all, I literally just finished filming a video on Milani's new foundations, Conceal and Perfect foundations. I started to put them all together in a video, but I felt like they needed their own video and I didn't want the video to be like really, really long. So anyway, back to these palettes. These are from Black Radiance, you guys, and Black Radiance is a drugstore brand, but they're not found at everywhere. At everywhere? No. They're not found everywhere, okay? They are only found at your participating drugstores. Like, it's a little story about this, and y'all know I always have like a little story situation, okay? But what happened was, what had happened was, I was seeing so many people talk about these palettes on Instagram. People were making comments on my YouTube. Thank y'all for all the heads up. I totally appreciate you guys. Somebody sent me a message on Snapchat. I was like, I'm on the lookout for them. I'm looking out for them. When I find those babies, I'm gonna cop them up. And that is exactly what I did. However, I did not find them at my drugstore first. I found them online. I went on Black Radiance's website and I found them on there purchased them. They were like $7.99 a piece. They only have two and that's light to medium, medium to dark. So I purchased each one right from the website. And I kid you not, the very next day after I purchased them, I was like, let me go by this Walgreens that I haven't been by in a while. Right on the display, they had them. So I was like, well, I don't know when I'm going to get the shipment. So I'm just going to buy them. And when I get my order from online, I will add them to my 40k giveaway. So yes, darlings, yes, loves, yes, supporters, these will be in a giveaway. I actually bought a few things from Black Radiant. I wanted to find another contour shade because when I do my tutorials and I use the CoverGirl Queen bronzer a lot, a lot of people have a hard time finding it. So I was like, you know what? I wanna find another drugstore shade that is comparable to that or just as good as that and you know, start using them in my tutorials. I think this was like $3.99 or $4.99 maybe even $5.99, but don't quote me on that, all right? But it is very, very pretty, and I use that to contour today, and I'm really feeling it, I am. As a matter of fact, I like this one just a little bit better, or I should say this, when I want that bronze effect, I will use the CoverGirl Queen. But the CoverGirl Queen, I cannot bronze, not bronze, but I can't contour my nose because I don't like that it has that deep, rich red undertone to it. And then my nose will be looking all red in pictures and stuff right there. So I only contour the cheeks. But with this right here, I can totally contour my nose and I can contour my cheeks. So I'm just gonna swatch this real quick and show you. This is in the color Ebony. And it may not even be coming off a whole lot, but hey, it gives me just what I need, I promise. Because you guys know, I don't need to heavily contour because my cheeks are already high. And usually when you contour, it's to kind of lift your cheeks a little bit. It's to hollow out this part and then make your cheekbone seem more prominent. And we all know that these jokers is prominent. So if I do it too much, I'll look kind of sick. Now let's get to what you clicked on this video for. It is called the True Complexion Contour Palette. This says light to medium and it has a little Black Radiance logo on it. Then it gives you an application guide and it tells you about contouring, sculpting, and highlighting. Oops, I got crooked. With that being said, this is the contour shade, that is the scope shade, and that is the highlight shade. So to contour, it says to contour your hairline, the sides of your nose, along your cheekbones, and your jawline. To scope, it says do your forehead, your brow bone, the bridge of your nose, your cheeks, and your cupid's bow. Okay, so I'm guessing that these this is supposed to be the color in between the highlight and the contour, because most people do that with their highlight. But it says, as for the highlight, it adds warmth to the face, including the cheeks, the nose, and the chin. Highlighting highlights the face. Um, contouring adds warmth to the face if you use like a bronze type situation, all right? So let's just clarify that real quick. This is the light to medium, and the highlight in this palette is like my favorite, and that is what I'm rocking today. 
like go highlight go highlight now i swatched these on snapchat and i don't even know if you can really see it on here either but there if i do like that you can kind of see it so i don't know how i feel about it as a contour yet like i said i don't need a whole lot of it and it probably will warm my face up a little bit but I forgot to use this during the tutorial and I ended up using something else. But there that goes on my hand. That is the scope shade. So there's the highlight and I'm gonna put another swatch. So there you go. And I really, really like it. And I was real generous on that cheekbone there. So this is numero dos. And this is the medium to dark palette. But from the looks of it, it seems like this contour shade would be better. And then this, this contour and this scope shape are totally different. Those are very similar in that palette. And then I feel like the highlight shade in this one is a little more peachy for darker skin tones, all right? Okay, so I'm gonna swatch this one right here. But because I'm curious, I wanna see if it matches this ebony one. So I'm gonna swatch that next to it. Very, very, very similar. A Little bit deeper, just a little bit. So that tells me that that'll work well. Very similar, you guys. Look, they are really close. Depending on who you are, that could be like a blush type situation. A real soft one or not even a blush. That could be a powder, shucks, that's my skin tone. Like to blend out my crease or something like that, I think I could do that. So there you go. As I said, this one is pretty. But I really like the highlight shade in the other one a little bit better. And I like the contour in this one a little bit better. So there you go. But these, you guys, they are only $7.99, as I said, on Black Radiance's website. And they are $8.29 in your local Walgreens if your Walgreens has it. I don't know. Check out your CVS, your Rite Aid. I don't know. Whoever carries Black Radiance in your area see if they have them. But if not, as I said, they're $7.99 on their site. Of course, you have to pay for shipping or you can enter the giveaway when it comes because I'm going to be giving away both of them. But that is it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for liking the video. If you like them, thumbs up. Oh my gosh, I forgot to say that in my last video. And thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thank you for all of your support. Thank you for your snaps. Thank you for your tweets. Thank you for your Instagram likes. Thank you for your Facebook likes and your comments and all that good old stuff. You guys have an awesome, blessed day. And I will see you sooner than you think. Bye.